The Pomegranate Martini. Delicious drink that can be made year round. My special twist is using citrus vodka. Watch me make it today and then stay tuned because I'm making two more versions just for Halloween. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep everything as simple as we can, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know that you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Today, our episode, as you see, we're in the bar, so it's all about a cocktail today. Now, we're gonna make one of my favorite cocktails ever. It's called a pomegranate martini. Now, I'm gonna show you this first basic recipe. Then, since it's Halloween, I'm gonna show you a couple ways to make this kind of a spookier little cocktail. So let's get started. Cocktails, all about ratios. I always say that, it's all about ratios. This one is very easy. It's a two, one, two quarter. Two cups, two gallons, two ounces, whatever. It's all about ratios. Most cocktails are two to one. This one's a little different. So first, shaker full of ice. because so we want a cold cocktail. That's always the noisy part, almost always. Now, first is two ounces of lemon vodka or citrus vodka, which is what I have here. You could use regular vodka, but to make it really, really good Cosmo, use a citrusy vodka. Well, not Cosmo, pomegranate. They're pretty close, but you'll see. It's two ounces right in. Next is triple sec. Now triple sec is orange liqueur. You could, if you want to be extra fancy, use Contru, which is more expensive, maybe a little higher alcohol, but I'm not gonna do that today. So I'll just get rid of this. I'm just gonna use triple sec, one ounce. So there's the two to the one. Right in. Now, the pomegranate juice. Use real pomegranate juice. Try not to get it where it's mixed with blueberry or cherries because then you get a little different drink and you want this plain pomegranate. Two ounces, there's your two, one, two. Now look at the color. What a beautiful color, almost blood red for Halloween. Right in. And finally, a quarter part, or in this case, a quarter ounce of fresh lime juice. Use fresh if you absolutely can. Now I know that's about a half a lime, so I'm gonna squeeze that in. Right in. And this makes all the difference. Now, if you can't, for some reason, get fresh lime, and not everyone can, you can use the bottled, but be a little sparing with it because it's a little more concentrated, so use a little less. Now, the fun part, the other noisy part, the shaky shaky. Okay. Lovely. Now as always I have a martini glass chilling with some ice and water. Right here. Let's see what this looks like. Wow, beautiful. Look at that color. Now, if you really wanted to, you could garnish this with lime, but I don't bother because there's fresh lime juice in it. Let's have a taste. Mmm. 
This is just marvelous. And you can make this all year round. Pomegranate juice is, is available all year round. It's refreshing, it's complex, it's a little tart, and the citrus vodka makes all the difference. Okay, now we're gonna make a couple Halloween versions. But you know, it's not looking very Halloween-y around here, and I need a little mood. So, I know, let's do this. And here we are. All of this. Oh, hi. So, we're gonna make some Halloween versions of this. Now I went ahead and zapped up a picture of these, and that just shows you how easy it is. You can make this ahead of time, ahead of your party or whatever, and you can make them by the picture full, and I guarantee you they will go. So let's start out simple. Shake it full of ice and a glass. And the first thing we're gonna do is gonna make the glass kind of pretty. So add a little wedge of lime. Just gonna rim the edge of it. Get the debris off. And I have here some black sugar. So we just wet the rim of the glass with the lime juice and dip it in. And look at that. Beautiful. It's already looking Halloween-y. So we're just gonna mix some of this up over ice. Shaky, shaky. All right. Sometimes they don't like to let go. And we're just gonna strain it right into this glass. Being careful, don't wash off the sugar. Go right in the center. Look at that, it's like a glass full of blood. Okay, now just for fun, I'm going to garnish it with a gummy worm because who doesn't want a nice gummy worm in their cocktail? So that's one, super simple and super fun, right? You can find this black sugar in any craft store in the baking sections of most uh, department stores too. So let's put this aside and get another glass. We're gonna start with the same thing. We're gonna rim the edge with lime and then we're gonna coat it in sugar because it's neat and it's fun. Okay, now you don't have to have a special little sugar sander thing like this. You can just pour it out on a plate or in a shallow dish. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfectly all the way around. As long as it's there, you get the idea. So let me get this out of the way. Now, new shaker full of ice, a little bit of tommy. I have here black food coloring, black gelled, super concentrated food coloring. Be very careful with this. Don't get it on your fingers. Uh, I did when I was trying to get it open and it took me several days to wash it off. You just need a couple of drops. Two, maybe three. Okay. Put that aside. And once again, shaky, shaky. Oh, wait till you see this. We've got our pitcher of blood. Now we have a glass full of night. Look at that, black as black can be. How spooky and Halloween -y is that? Here we are with all three versions of our pomegranate martini. We have the classic, beautiful, gorgeous color, great all year round. Then we went a little Halloween-y. We rimmed the glass in black sugar, added a few gummy worms just for fun, same drink. 
Then my favorite, we did our black version. Just a couple drops of food coloring made this a delicious, delicious drink. So as always, I will have the recipe and the instructions and everything up in the comment section on YouTube. Question guys, and I wanna hear, I wanna hear the answers and I wanna see pictures. How would you make your version of a Halloween pomegranate martini? So follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Let's Celebrate TV. We'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.